So the question is, how do you tell the difference between someone that's going to buy more or not? And in the case of a blockchain, how do you tell the difference between someone that's going to use more or not? And, you know, if you, if you don't give, so I went on etherscan.io forward slash accounts, which is the Ethereum rich list. Vitalik's number 26. He's got like 330,000 Ethereum. And then as you get to page two, there's like 25 or, or 30 rows of just 150,000 wallets, 150, 150,000 ETH, 150,000 ETH, 150,000 ETH, 100, and they've all had exactly four transactions, and I think they all had the transactions at the same time. This is just one entity. So, like, so when you look at the centralization inside Ethereum, you're just like, do you really, like, you're supposed to hold your own private keys. That's what cryptocurrency is all about, to get rid of middlemen. So people give their private keys to exchanges instead. So then the exchanges lose the money or get hacked. Do you want to screw users over by giving free pulse to exchanges and then the exchanges lose them or get hacked or don't give you access to them? It's just terrible, right? So, so you, you don't want to give free coins to whales. You don't want to give free coins to people that won't buy more, but it's really hard to tell. So you end up just giving them to a lot of people, probably. But then if they don't use them quickly, you take them back, right? Because you imagine, do you want to reward people that just don't interact and just sit around? So imagine if you've given someone like a thousand Bitcoin as like a, a bounty back in 2011. You know, didn't cost you much. It cost you 50 bucks. But now, thousand Bitcoin is $5 million more. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a lot more, actually. It's $50 million. A so, yeah, it's, it's $55 million. Yeah. So, you know, and, and that guy, he got 55 million bucks. He probably has more than you because you actually were engaged and might have sold somewhere. And he was just dumb and like, oh, do -do. oh what's going on? Oh, I, I found a hard drive. I have $55 million now. That is stupid to me. Like, I don't, I don't think you should reward people for, for not doing the right thing. And just sitting around with your thumb up your ass isn't helping the network and isn't helping do anything except enter you for a lottery that you might get rich one day. So... You know, the idea of taking back the Freeman coins is an awesome idea. And the idea of underpaying all the whales and just paying them a flat rate so that you can give everyone else a little bit more is also an awesome idea. But then you got to watch for people trying to game the system and make a bunch of fake accounts. So you have to manually look at each chain that you plan on giving free stuff to and decide where the whale cutoff is. It's, it's a manually, manually intense process.